Hey everybody, welcome to the next video, or another video, but uh, in the previous one I had just finished uh, coming out to this field and tedding, uh, just to let the grass dry a little bit. Um, and then it was the evening, and I said I'll let, the, let it sit for another day, and uh, we've got some grass, or cut hay that's a little drier than the other, um, but I'm just checking my uh, moisture here. With the little, uh, this little device here, the, I guess, uh, <laughs> I forget what this thing is called, honestly. <laughs> Off the top of my head, some kind of moisture meter thing. Um, and I'll just go through with you real quick since I've got the, uh, the key on the other screen here is, this is location, elevation, uh, what I'm highlighting. Crop, of course, is grass. Uh, growth stage, which we've just cut it. And this is the crop moisture, so we're at 17% moisture right now. Uh, and then this is fertilizer uh, level, um, and then the soil moisture itself. So we're pretty close to uh, dry. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and bale it up now, and uh, we'll actually rake it first. Excuse me, and uh, rake it, and then uh, just get this out of the field. It's a first cutting. Not too concerned about the quality or anything like that. I'm just want to go through the process of actually making hay and baling and everything. So. This is the rake that I'm leasing, uh, the tether that I'm leasing, which I might end up just purchasing. Of course, the baler, which I'm going to be hooking to my uh, bigger tractor over here um, once I unhook the mower. But for now, I'm going to hop on this neat little tractor, <laughs> this, uh, yeah, Massey Ferguson rake, and uh, yeah, get to work. It'd be easier if I could back this out. There's always traffic coming up and down this road. Perfect. Just have to just pour into the field. Stir it up here a little bit. Yeah, my mowing job wasn't perfect. <laughs> Less, uh, I left some patches of tall grass, but I was just kind of getting, uh, honestly, a little bored with mowing it. And I think next time. I didn't think far enough ahead, but next time I'll just cut it into a square instead of uh, trying to fit the shape of the field, which is more like a triangle. So, uh, anyway, um, just checking my things here. Okay. Thing, yeah, this thing actually gets out pretty wide, so it's a good good choice for this field, which isn't too big. Okay, lower. And I'll set my speed here, and we're good. Good little tractor for doing this light type of work, tedding and raking. Um, I don't want to use the big tractor for these types of tasks just because it's just a lot of big, a lot of trips in a machine that's oversized for this type of work. And uh, just more fuel and more soil compaction and wear and tear. So, this is a good little tractor for doing this. And uh, like I said, it's first cut. Um, I'm just doing this now just to you know see what I get out of the field I'm not going for perfection at all um, but I will be once I get the bales out of this field I'll be coming in here to fertilize since the nitrogen content is pretty low especially after cutting it of course but it was low before that so but uh, yeah I just wanted to enjoy the process of making hay um, first cut do, just do round bales um, just because they're I don't know <laughs> Either way, it's a lot of work, uh, round and square, um, but round bales probably won't be too many out of this field, so we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try and not drive through the tall grass since 
realistically that would cause issues uh, if I tried to drive this equipment through it's grass that had not been mown down yet. So. This, yeah, this little tractor, I am very happy with this little tractor. <laughs> it's, uh, I think it's like 79 horsepower with the turbo, so um, it's just the right fit for this type of job. It's interesting that it uh, got a mixture of lighter color, uh, drier grass, and uh, of course the sweater looking grass. But um, yeah, I wasn't gonna. I already let you know basically a day pass, and just kind of wanted to get bail bailed and done with. <laughs> so but it does look like we're getting more. Uh, it is seeming to dry as we're going along. So I don't know. It's based on the. Uh, sim itself and looks like it's letting more grass turn it turn color. And I'm probably gonna fold it up right about here. And so, uh, yeah, I've already made my one path there, so.
I yeah, got quite a few uh, good looking rows here. Uh, I can probably squeeze one out of that maybe behind me. Trying to drive over the wind rows there, but man, given the the tire tracks really, because field looks pretty wet. I don't know. <laughs> That's uh, it really is wet. I don't know. So yeah, we'll see if uh, being, oh okay, I've got one more. Uh, the bird's doing something interesting there. Probably do one more row here. I'll call it good enough. <laughs> Definitely not perfect. <laughs> but uh, like I said, uh, that's okay. And then I'll just ride across these. Part is done. Just gonna find a place to park this temporarily. Usually, I like to leave things in the way. You want to head probably. Yeah. There you go. Feed him. Park this over here for now. Sweet, that part's done. Alright, let's go over here to the uh, disbind, detach that. And I'll just go ahead and start bailing it now. Don't go into the pond. Let's see, where do I want to put this actually? The we'll get it over there. It's 
just realized how loud the Massey Ferguson is compared to this. <laughs> Trying not to disturb the beehives. Leave that there for now. No, all right. All right, we gotta get on the right device there. There we go. Sweet. That's done. Yeah. Oops. Hoses. I don't want to touch the power takeoff too. Okay, okay there it goes. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was weird. Now we're <laughs> now we're now we're all attached. All right, right? Yeah, we're attached. Alright, good. Yeah, electricals were good. Alright. Sweet. Kind of a blind, blind spot there. Okay, let's see how much hay we get. Okay, it's just the wheels up here, I guess. Make sure I'm on, yeah. go. Making hay. <laughs> oh, it's actually filled up pretty fast. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get quite a few bales out of this field. Well, there might be small bales too, I don't know, we'll see. It's been a while since I've done any round baling. Okay, there's the alert. I mean, I'm almost full. See, anyway. I don't know. Oh, maybe it does it automatically. I don't know. I haven't used this in a while. Oh, again, okay. there's the unloaded function. Okay. Nice. Okay, there's our first round bill. Yeah, these, uh, this is quite a lot of grass, actually.
Sasson. Yeah, it's going to be quite a few round builds, now that I think about it. <laughs> ah, I'm leaving behind big mounds of grass. <laughs> User or uh, operator error, of course. There we go, yeah. Just need to lift the pickup next time and back it up. Operator error. I'm on top of my window there. Bird convention going on on this side of the field.
Well, I'm going to be doing this for a while, so... <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the ambience of being inside of a tractor building hay, but uh, I think I'll stop the video here. Uh, I'll be doing this for a while, and I'll see you in the next one.